So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, if the catalytic converter falls below 95% efficiency, then the onboard computer will throw out this code because it thinks it's failing. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you have a V6 or V8 engine, then you want to locate the number one cylinder, number one spark plug, and that'll be the side of the engine that is having the issue. And some of the possible causes, is it could be a failed catalytic converter, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, the wiring going to the oxygen sensor might be bad, and possibly an exhaust leak. And so when you get this code, one of the things to keep in mind is that these oxygen sensors, there are going to be two of them. There'll be one before the catalytic converter and one after the catalytic converter. And this is what the onboard computer uses to see what the efficiency of the catalytic converter is. And so if one of these fails, then there might not be nothing wrong with the catalytic converter, but it might be sending bad data back to the onboard computer that thinks that it failed. And so it thinks there's an issue when there's not. And so what you could do, you could test the O2 sensors and you can see if they're good and you can check out the wiring and be sure that's all good because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. But quite commonly, when there is a bad oxygen sensor, you'll get another code with this. So if you're getting another code with this, you might be able to go down this road, whether or not it is a bad oxygen sensor or not. But just keep in mind, that can't be an issue if one of these failed because that's where the onboard computer is getting its information from. And so if you don't have any other codes or if you tested these oxygen sensors and you know they're good, then very likely there is something going on with the catalytic converter. And there's some different methods you could try before you go to replace it. And the main one is to try to run some kind of catalytic converter cleaner through it. There's different types you could try. Uh, one type is this CataClean. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But basically what you do is you take this, it's a fuel additive, you, you put it into the gas tank and then you take the vehicle out onto the highway or the freeway or something and you rev up the engine and you drive it like 10, 15 miles, really revving up the engine, try to blow out that catalytic converter from any gunk that might be built up inside of there. And then you clear the code and hopefully it doesn't come back. And this works for a lot of people. One thing to realize is that when vehicles are just city driven, they never really get revved up. So the catalytic converter doesn't really get blown out. So this can help in many cases. Like if you've just been driving around the city, just doing low speed, stop and go kind of thing, then this might help you. If you're going down the freeway a lot and really revving up that engine and you think that it's getting blown out, then it might just be a bad catalytic converter and it might be time to replace it. And so if you ran that that catalytic converter cleaner through it and you know the oxygen sensors are good and there's no problems there then very likely you will have to change out the catalytic converter and these can be kind of difficult sometimes it'll just vary on the vehicle and how bad rusted up the bolts are underneath there sometimes you'll even need to cut them out and put new bolts in it can just vary and it'll be different across the different toyota models exactly how they designed it and put them in there but that would be the next step would be to go ahead and change out or swap out the catalytic converter. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0420 code? Well, first thing is you could check out the O2 sensors and check out the wiring because bad O2 sensors or anything going on with that could cause the onboard computer to think that there's an issue. Usually you'll get another code if it's an O2 sensor, but definitely keep in mind that the O2 sensors can cause this issue sometimes. If the O2 sensors look good and the wiring all looks good, then you could run something like that Cataclean through it. You could add it to the fuel and then you could take it, drive it around, really try to rev up the engine and blow out that catalytic converter, clear the code and see if you can't solve the issue that way. If that doesn't solve the issue, then very likely you are gonna have to change out that catalytic converter. And they can be difficult sometimes, so it might be best just to take it to a shop at that point, since in some cases they can be kind of hard to get out. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.